Howdy everyone, Michael and Peter here with GoodyReader.com. Today we're going to look at BlackBerry 10 versus the Firefox OS. Uh, we have the Z10 and uh, the ZT open and the purpose of this video is really to give you an indication of what both of these operating systems mm -hmm. bring to the table. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's not about the hardware, nope. it's about the software. Mm -hmm. So if you're on the fence about purchasing or buying into the BlackBerry, the Firefox ecosystem, by the end of this video, you'll get a good indication on which way you should lean. Yep. So without further ado, let's go in for a closer look. Hey guys, so we have uh, the BlackBerry Z10 running uh, BlackBerry OS here and uh, the ZTE open with uh, Firefox OS. So the premise of this video is not to evaluate the phone hardware, God, although no. we will reference it uh, throughout the yeah. video, but we're mainly looking at the software elements. So uh, Firefox OS mainly just has the Firefox app market, whereas with the BlackBerry, you can now load in APK files, which means we have uh, the Goody Reader app store here. Yay. So you could install apps, um, you know, basically any apps that you want, and it gives you just more alternatives than just a BlackBerry world. So, uh, looking at the phone here, these are the home screens, and you can see the icons are basically squares, yep. whereas those are more rounded. Um, the Firefox logo itself is circular, so you can see the home button, the Firefox logo, all the icons, they are all circular. It's kind of their theme, going for... <clears throat> you know, something different. If they were just square, it would look like Android. So yeah. you got to change it up somehow. Uh, if you scroll to the left on the BlackBerry, you get all this cool hub stuff and, and all that great stuff. If you scroll to the left on Firefox, you actually get these portals. So if we click on, uh, I don't know, let's say shopping, what it does is opens up suggested shopping apps with a cool background and all that. And if you scroll to the bottom, it just endlessly loads more and more shopping apps. So that's actually a really cool feature that kind of makes Firefox stand out a little bit and uh, let's go compare some marketplaces because we're on the store there so we'll see what Firefox brings to the table now I don't know what this weird blue marching crap is I mean it's just <laughs> Me the either. whole time and no matter where you are these little things are moving around but it's probably just the phone who knows um this is new the OS so there's not going to be a lot here, but there is the essentials. So you have Line, Facebook, Twitter, a couple games like Cut the Rope and, uh, you know, YouTube and Piano. Maybe a couple slicing fruit apps. I don't apps. know if, I, if I'm wrong, but Firefox, does it support paid apps? Because we, we've explored the store and yeah. have yet to find a paid app. Well, I mean, this is so new that... The, we, we didn't even have to sign into this marketplace. There was no sort of device registration or anything. And yeah, we couldn't really find anything that cost any money. So, um, and, and we should note, don't focus too much on this phone. Uh, cause we didn't mention before, but the phone is very low quality, very out of date. It's a three, three inch screen, one gigahertz processor. It is simply a vessel to house the Firefox experience. So, so with uh, yeah, the BlackBerry app store, it's like, not only can you download apps, but you can download like videos, uh, you know, uh, movies, yeah. TV shows. Um, I, I would never have thought I would say this, but the BlackBerry store is awesome it in is comparison good. to the Firefox. Oh, you um, never thought you'd say that. Well, <laughs> I mean, you know, it, I've, that's one of the things that BlackBerry has going against it is just the, the lack of developer support versus Firefox oh, yeah. OS. It has way more developer support. You've chosen the best uh, competitor here. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we have this uh, home button here and it's just a circle so it goes home no matter what. There is no back button that would be easily be able to add here. I don't know why they didn't. And there's no more button. And we know that so far this is a software thing, not just a hardware based on this phone, because if we go to something like sound, for example, you can't actually go back with any other button except this tiny little sliver of a back arrow. Whereas here corner. you have like an above corner and it's, it says back. Whereas this, it doesn't say just, anything, it's just an arrow. It's a greater than yeah. or less than. Or and with, with, with BlackBerry, one of the cool things is you can either click black or you could just swipe yeah, up. Yeah, lots and then of gesture just support do that and I, I think that's one of the cool things about the blackberry os is that there's more than two or three ways to open and close apps yeah back it's whatever closing. you're comfortable with you could even like have things like this and then 
Uh, you can always refer to them later. Yeah, open up like the browser. And then, you know, then you have all these like open things. So yeah. instead of having like a multitask tag here, it's just like, okay, multitask, go Boom. back to search or, you know, I want to open up pictures. Okay, now I have like three three things yep, open. Yep. I, I like that. I, and look at the screen compared to the yeah. screen. The gesture I mean, it support it. on BlackBerry has always been really solid. I really like it. Well, with BlackBerry 10. The new, the new stuff, yeah. yeah. So we've showed you a lot about what these phones can do and, and showed you the differences between the, the different operating systems. Do you guys think that Firefox OS has any potential? Drop a comment below and let us know. Uh, do you think that BlackBerry will be continuing to make phones? What do you think about BlackBerry OS versus uh, Firefox OS? Let us know. And for goodyreader.com and a comparison of BlackBerry versus Firefox, my name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take care. Not a fan of the ZTE Open as a device, but I am a fan of Firefox OS because it has potential. As of right now, doesn't look that great, but it does have potential. It could be one of the next big OSs. It could be considered one of the big ones. So when people say, hey, you know, Android, iOS, Blackberry, Firefox could be kind of the norm in a little while. They just need some refinement, but everything's there for them to kind of take off. They just have to go in the right direction. Keep watching our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash goody reader. If you're watching this on another channel, 850 plus videos on that channel, lots of giveaways, fielding requests every day. Keep on watching. Thanks. Thanks a lot.